Driver. Driver, stop. What job is he in there? Why do you want to stop? The man up there, he's bleeding to death. Can't stop. Not here. Brakes won't hold. Just as guilty as a soldier would be who deserted his post under fire. Now, in making an example of you, I... I beg your pardon, sir. I have some wounded outside. I'm looking for the... Uh... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you want the Italian unit. We're the English here, you see. Yes, number uh, 207. They're in the other wing. Moved in today. Yes, uh, out that way. Straight ahead. <clears throat> Thank you, Major. Yes. been doing. Typical male conceit. I think they're going to send her back home. That's a dirty shame. She'll be disgraced. It's regulations. At least they might let her have her baby here. If they send her back now, all her friends will know. And her family. She's only herself to blame. This is war, Fergie, and she loved him. Shh, here they come. Well, is it necessary for us all to be here at one time? Get back to your posts. You will be packed and ready to leave within the hour. Molly. Can I help you pack? I guess so. If you want to. Why, of course I want to. Good girl. I beg your pardon. I say she's the only human being in the whole lot of us. I'm sorry, Miss Barclay appears to sympathize with one who has disgraced the uniform we all wear. Federico! Get away, you're, you're filthy. <laughs> you Anglo-Saxons, you're not to clean yourself. Did you bring me some good cases, baby? Did you have trouble finding us? No. How do you feel? Is there going to be an offensive? There's not a Were case. you under fire? Madonna, but I worried about you. Yes, I can see how much you've been worrying. Oh, seven operations today, baby. And one of them was beautiful. I took the heart out. It lay in my hand and it beat like this. You should have seen it. It was lovely. Soon Rinaldi will be the best surgeon in all the corps. Then, in all the army. And someday, in all of Italy. Why not in all the world? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you will like it here, baby. What sort of a town is this? Any girls? Many beautiful English nurses. No, I mean girls. Girls, too. A house full of them. Another Villa Rosa? <laughs> Some of them have never been to the front before. Perhaps. <laughs> But the nurses are much nicer. The most beautiful is Miss Barclay. I am in love with her. 
Does she know it? <laughs> uh, not yet. Have you any money? Yes. Lend me 50 lire. What for? I want to make on Miss Barclay the impression of a man of sufficient wealth. All right. Thank you. You are my great and good friend and financial protector. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> and now we will eat and drink, and I will take you to meet Miss Barclay. But you must make for me a good impression upon her. Now, listen. But you must. And you can have a nurse, too. There is another one named Miss Ferguson. She is also very, very nice. No. No? First, we will eat and drink. And then we'll go and see the girls who have never been to the front before. Yes? Yes. <laughs> You know what an American is. Yes. What is it? <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> well, I'm an American. Then what are you doing here? Drinking mostly. <laughs> he liked the uniform. <laughs> Wrong. I like the language. <laughs> <laughs> then what were you doing in Italy? Studying. <laughs> <laughs> Studying what? Architecture. You know what that is? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> you see, she doesn't know. Hmm. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, you've got too much wine. <laughs> it's filthy wine. It takes the enamel off your teeth and leaves it on the roof of your mouth. Where was I? Architecture. Oh, yes. Look, I'll explain. This, my dear, is called an arch. the oldest of architectural devices. Arch. Architecture. The very word will tell you how inextricably the two are one. In a word, my dear, architecture is the most ancient of the arts, just as yours is the most ancient of the professions. You better put your shoe on, you'll get cold feet. If you please, I'd like to go now. The air raid seems to be over. I didn't know what to think. Nobody saw where you went. Who's that man? Oh, I don't know. Some lunatic. Come on. <laughs> what if we take the mountains to the north? Behind them are more mountains, and behind those, more yet. Can yeah. we take them all? Only if the Austrians stop fighting. One side of most stop. Stop? It'll go on forever. Like him. <laughs> the Austrians to win the war. Oh, no, no, it is not true. But you don't want us to attack. If we must have war, I suppose we have to attack. Oh, but so many die that way. But what is death to a Christian? <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him, Fergie. Oh, Frederico. Oh, you are back safe. Hello, Father. I am so glad. The priest prayed for you, Federico. Every time you go up, he does the same. Oh, I pray for you all. You are late, baby. How is it up there? Quiet. You nearly missed the party. 
But it is very dull. But Miss Barclay is here and her friend Miss Ferguson, the one you will like. Come. Miss Barclay, uh, permit me to present to you my friend and war brother, Lieutenant Henry. He has just returned back from the front. How do you do? How do you do? And this is Miss Ferguson. How do you do? How do you do? He begins again, that fellow. Quick, let us go into the garden. Now, you stay here. I will find something for us to drink. Asti, grappa, vermouth. Which do you like? All of them. Then you shall have all of them. <laughs> nice out here. Mm, isn't it? We seem fated to bump into each other in the dark. I'm sorry about that. I mistook you for someone else. So I gathered. <laughs> I'd been drinking. I gathered that too. Mad? No. You're an American, aren't you? Yes. Well, then what are you doing in the Italian army? Well, it's not really the army. It's, it's very odd, though. Why'd you do it? I don't know. Why did you? Oh, I joined up in England. Besides, the boy I was engaged to had gone across. Where is Miss Ferguson? Why don't you go see? Yes, do bring her out, Captain Rinaldi. Have some? Thanks. He's sore. What for? Because I'm here with you. Women prefer him as a rule. Shall we take a walk? Yes, let's. Where is he now? Who? The boy you're engaged to. He's dead. Oh. He was killed in the Somme. Were you engaged long? Eight years. We grew up together. Why didn't you marry? I didn't know what the war was like then. If I had it to do over again, I'd marry him. Or anything. When I joined up, I remember having this silly idea that he might come to the hospital where I was. With a saber cut, I suppose, and a bandage around his head. Shot through the shoulder. Something picturesque. This is the picturesque front, not France. He didn't have a saber cut. They blew him to bits. What are you thinking about now? About whiskey. What about whiskey? About how nice it is. And you're nice, too. <laughs> no. Why not? No, don't. Yeah. No, please. <sighs> I'm sorry, did I hurt you? It's all right. Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry, really. I just...
couldn't bear the nurse's evening off aspect of it. It's quite all right. I don't mind at all. Poor man. You see, I've been leading a funny sort of life. Besides, you're so very beautiful. You don't have to talk a lot of nonsense. I said I'm sorry. We could get along. Couldn't we? <laughs> you're sweet. No, I'm not. Yes, you're a dear. I'd be very glad to have you kiss me now, if you don't mind. Looking for someone? Have you seen Miss Barclay? Miss Barclay? Didn't she go out there with you? With me? No, no, no. But just a little while ago. I thought I saw her go out to the garden gate with the Lieutenant Henry. She went out with an officer, alone? Well, uh, perhaps I was mistaken. You know, it is quite dark out there. Oh, she wouldn't do that. No. No, I am sure I was mistaken. Where is she then? You're a grand girl. I'm a crazy girl. Why? To stay out here. It's nice. Isn't that enough? Mm, it's nice. I suppose that has to be enough for people who are living as we live. Back home, I courted you and sent you flowers. Out here, you crowd it all into one hour. Isn't that the way it's got to be? Out here. Look. Tomorrow morning, I've got to go up to the front again. And if a shell got me, and you never saw me again, then we'd both be sorry that we'd been so formal and waited. Besides, what's there so fine in putting it off, dragging it out, giving me your lips tonight, no. and your throat tomorrow? No, no, wait. No, please. No. Catherine. Catherine. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for the lovely concert. Good night. I, I hope you are not worried about Miss Barclay. It's not like her to disappear this way. Well, perhaps she felt ill and went home alone. Perhaps. Good night. Come go. Come. Come. Why didn't you tell me? It doesn't matter. If it had to happen, I'd rather it were like this. I couldn't know. In a churchyard under the stars. Well, why not? Why not? There's a war on. And tonight, who cares? And tomorrow, who knows? <laughs> What did you say your name was? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> if, if, you, if you knew how I was back home, you'd see the funny side of it. <laughs> Please, stop it. <laughs> oh, we blame everything on the wall, but that's rot. It's something in ourselves. <laughs> the lady sat in the public square and mourned her lost innocence. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I'm not. I love you. Oh, darling.
Did you have a nice uh, time, baby? <laughs> you made the progress with her, eh? We're friends, if that's what you mean. I mean, uh, was she nice to you, practically speaking? Shut up. I am a man of extreme delicacy, but uh, was she... Rinaldi, will you please shut up? If you want to be a friend of mine, shut up. I am your best friend and your war brother. Then shut up. Uh, Miss Barclay prefers you to me. That is very clear. But uh, Miss Ferguson is very nice, too. You like her? No. But you, of all people, a lot of geese, that's what you are. Silly geese, stuffed with bunk about woman's part in the war. We must bring solace to the men who fight, sacrifice ourselves, give ourselves. <laughs> if you'd known him for a long time, or been in love with him, but you only met him tonight. How long must you know a man before you can love him? Are you pretending to be in love with that man? I think I am, Fergie. I must be, or it couldn't have happened. You're just another conquest, Jim. One in a hundred. You'll probably never see him again. He said if he'd met me back home, he'd have courted me, sent me flowers. But now, I suppose I won't ever see him again. On duty. Wait, you can't go in there. Hey, why have you come back in here for? Lieutenant, he knows what he's doing. Please. What's wrong, Bonelli? Don't we ever get started here? We got a plenty of time. Hold it. I thought you started. What are you doing here? We come back, Signor Capitano. Tenente, he forgot something. Oh. I, 
You're all right, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I'm all right. I came to... I thought... You see, I, I'm going to be away for a while, and I didn't want you to think that I'd just gone away. No, I... <laughs> what I mean is, I'd hate to have you feel that... that it wasn't important to me about... about us. I don't exactly know how to say it. You said it very nicely, dear. Thank you. No, I don't mean... You mustn't feel... Will you be gone long? No. Only a few days. There's going to be a show above... up above Plava. Nothing much, I guess. A show? You'll be careful, won't you? I won't get hit. Hold it. Here. It's a St. Anthony. They say a St. Anthony is very useful to guard you from harm. I'll take good care of him. Well, I wish I could kiss you. He is my friend and a good soldier. I do not like to see him lose his head over a woman. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? I think not. Couldn't we send her back to the base, Major? No, if you could send her away, it would simplify everything. You could perhaps send her to Milan? Excellent, my dear Major. Magnificent. No wonder the English are first in diplomacy. Uh, what did you say her name was? We won't get anything else to eat once the attack starts. This is all they'd give me. Starting to eat at the end. No, we'll all eat together. Come on, sit down to it. Come on, Thank you. Here you can visit me. Jesus, Wash it down with wine at an end. Who goes to the attack? Arsalieri. Nobody would attack. All would be over. That was a big one. 420? No, 305. Sounded like a Skoda to me. Skoda? That's what I say. of the skull and possible fracture of the skull. Multiple superficial wounds of the left and right thigh, left and right knee, and right foot. Profound wounds of right knee and foot incurred in line of duty. Antitetanus, please. Lift 
Howdy, howdy. How do you feel, baby? Rinaldi, what are you doing here? Bonello telephoned to me. The Major gave me permission to come. No one shall hurt you, baby. I won't let them. No butcher is going to touch my war power. Only Rinaldi can take you and never hurt you. You must forgive me, baby, for, for talking so much, but I am I'm very moved to see you badly wounded. How did it happen? I will see you are decorated for bravery. Perhaps we can get you the Medaglia d'Argento, but surely the bronze one. Did you carry somebody on your back? I didn't carry anybody. I couldn't move. Surely there was something heroic. Tell me what you did. I was blown up eating cheese. Well, don't worry, baby. I will fix you so that you are as good as new. You will see. Every day I learn to do things smoother, quicker. Soon, very soon, you will be walking again. I brought a present for you. You will find it under your blanket next to your heart. It is a bottle of brandy, baby. Very good brandy. The infantry captured it from the Austrians on San Gabriele. I have another surprise for you. Take a deep breath. Where do you think you will go from here? To the Italian hospital where they have the male nurses with the beards? No. I will arrange everything with my friend, the British Major. You will go to Milan, to the beautiful Miss Barclay. <laughs> that makes you happy, eh? Think of Rinaldi, left all alone with the war, no one to make fun of, no one to lend him money, while you, <laughs> while you are in Milan with the beautiful Miss Barclay, making love in Milan to the chaste Miss Barclay. Look out for the step. Why do you stop? I am the superintendent. May I have your medical papers, please? They're in my coat in the button-down pocket. Take him up those stairs, down the corridor. His room is the one at the end. You show them, Julio. Who are you? I'm the porter, Signor Tenente. Come, follow me. Now, Signor Tenente, we must lift you off the bed. All right. But keep my legs straight. You see, Signor Tenente. Anything more, Signor Tenente? Get me some brandy. No, it is not allowed, Signor Tenente. Wasn't I wounded fighting for the glory of Italy? You'll find some money in my pocket. As you wish. So it's you. Ferguson. Is Catherine here? As if you didn't know. I believe that's why you got wounded. Where is she? You ought to be still. Here's your chart. I must take your temperature. Does she know I'm here? Under the arm, please. Hello, darling. Catherine. You're lovely. Are you badly hurt? You're lovely. Oh, my poor darling, it's your leg, isn't it? You're the loveliest thing I ever saw. Oh. I have to go now, darling. I can't stay. You'll come back? Later, but we'll have to be awfully careful. You've got to come back. I will when I can. Tonight. I'll try. Somebody's coming. Tonight. I'll take that thermometer now. Good gracious. It's the doctor. It's a miracle you're not delirious with such a fever. I haven't got any fever. Stay quiet, please. <laughs> it's not what you think.
<laughs> I have brought you a few little things. This is mosquito netting, and this is a bottle of vermouth. Uh, you like vermouth, huh? <laughs> and these are English papers. Thank you, Father. <laughs> It's very good of you to come. Oh, but I mustn't stay long. They warned me not to tire you. You seem very tired yourself. Uh, I am tired, but I have no right to be. You have the war disgust. No, but I hate the war. I don't enjoy it. But you do not mind it. You do not see it. Oh, you must forgive me. I know you are wounded. That was an accident. Still even wounded, you do not see it. Oh, I can tell. I do not see it myself, but I feel it a little. Come in, Kath. Well, don't go yet, Father. It's still early. You are sure? The operation in the morning, he should rest. Oh, he's strong. He has such a lovely temperature. It's always normal. I'm very proud of his temperature. Maybe all our children will have fine temperatures, too. Our children will probably have beastly temperatures. Don't mind us, Father. We're in love. I know. I could see it in your faces. You approve, don't you, Father? You spoke of children. This, too, is the war. Without the war, you would live married in God's grace. Is it not so? And you? Well, I hadn't thought about it like that, but yes, I suppose so. You realize, Father, that army regulations prevent us from marrying. It's in Catherine Hall. Poor Kath. Such a crazy marriage. At least I'm in white. No orange blossoms. I can smell them. No organ music. I can hear it plainly. It was a foolish notion, perhaps. I have not the right to say you are married. Yet, it has made me happy to do this. For now, from my heart, I can say I bless you in his name. Thank you, Father. Goodbye, and be happy, both of you. Thank you, Father. Give my regards to the mess. I will. And get well soon. I will come again the next time I am in Milan. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. Is Miss Barclay here? Uh-uh. No. No. Shut the door. I can't. Please, darling. We mustn't. Your operation's in the morning. It's our wedding night. Oh, darling. You'll have to take your oil. Castor <laughs> oil? No. You'll take it from me. I'll take anything from you. Darling. If you stay. <laughs> oh, darling, darling. I want what you want. There isn't any me anymore, just what you want. You sweet one. Did I make a lovely wife? Such a lovely wife. 
feel our heart beat. No wonder my heart beat. I'm mad about you. the opera I made my debut in at the Scala. They threw benches at it. That's a lie. Yes, they did. I threw six benches myself. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's offended. <laughs> You'll get over it. That's his sore spot. We always tease him. You don't care whom you hurt. Now, don't you get mad, too. Catherine and I were thinking of asking you to our wedding. Where'd we get? You'll never get married. We will. No, you won't. We'll fight before you'll marry. Oh, we never fight. You've time yet. We won't fight ever. You'll die then. Fight or die. That's what people do. They don't marry. Why, Fergie. No. I'm not crying. Maybe you'll be all right, you two. Watch out you don't get her in trouble. I won't get her into trouble. You better not. Or I'll kill you. Why, Fergie. What is the matter with her? She doesn't like me, that's all. Oh, no. She just likes me more. Are you on night duty tonight? Yes, but you won't care. You'll go right off to sleep. You wait and see. <laughs> Darling, how many other girls have you ever loved? None. How many, really? None. How many have you, um, how do you say it, love? None. You're lying to me. Of course. Oh, well, that's right. You just keep right on lying. That's what I want you to do. Were they pretty? I've never been with anyone. That's right, darling. What were they like? I don't know anything about it. You're just mine, that's true. You've never belonged to anyone else. I don't care if you have, though. I'm not afraid of them. Only don't tell me about them. You never told them you loved them, did you? No. I knew you wouldn't. Oh, darling, I do love you. Then kiss me. Right here in the street? Yes. I'll go in first. <laughs> so, what is this, if I may ask? What was in it? That's Kimmel. That's the best kind. It comes in those bear-shaped bottles from Russia. And these? That's brandy, wine, and... Whiskey. And I've been pitying you for being wounded. Pity is something that is wasted on you. Thank you. If you're so anxious not to go back to the front, I should think you'd try something more intelligent. Not self-inflicted alcoholism. What? I said alcoholism. And I also say that I'll see your convalescent leave is cancelled. You'll go back to the front tomorrow night.
My time for a drink before the train leaves. For the front? Yes. About 20 minutes, Senor Capitano. Right. is just the thing. Those mirrors are very attractive, too. People who go in for vice seem to have very good taste about it. <laughs> You're a grand girl. Oh, darling. I wish you could do something really sinful. Everything we do seems so innocent and right. You're a fine, simple girl. I am a simple girl. Nobody but you ever realized it. Mm, first, I thought you were a crazy girl. I was a little crazy at first. Was that your train? Maybe. It makes up a turn, but it stays in the station here till time to leave. There's really lots of time. But at my back, I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near. I know that poem. It's by Marvel. Only it's about a girl who wouldn't live with a man. Listen. It's only the rain. I hate the rain. I like it. I'm afraid of the rain. Afraid why? I... Oh, well, perhaps it's silly. What? Tell me. No, don't make me. Tell me. All right. I'm afraid of the rain because sometimes I see me dead in it. No. And sometimes I see you dead in it. <laughs> That's more likely. Oh, now, darling, don't say that. That is your train. Time's winged chariot. I'll come with you, hmm? No, please. I don't want you... Uh, not, not at the station. All right, darling. How often will you write? As often as I can. Do they read your letters? Well, they can't read English enough to hurt anything. Well, I'll make them very confusing. But not too confusing. Oh, I should have got you a going away gift. A whistle to make you feel better in the dark. Or a sword. I'm sure we could get a used sword very cheap. Swords aren't very useful at the front. Oh, I see. They get in the way of your legs when you're running. Well, they might be useful at mess, though. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to start, darling. I hate to leave our fine house. So do I. We never stay settled very long in a home, do we? We will. I'll have a fine home for you when you come back. Say I'll come back to Catherine. I'll come back to Catherine. I'll always come back. Maybe this time you'll be hurt just a little in the foot. Or the lobe of the ear. Oh, no, no, no. I want your ears just the way they are. Your feet have been hurt already.
I want a ticket to Switzerland, please. To where, Signora? To what town? The nearest one to Italy. That would be Brissago, Signora. Well, then give me a ticket to Brissago. All right. Oh. Oh, Fergie, I was afraid you wouldn't come. Would you mind telling me what this is all about? I'm going away. So I gathered by this, but where? Why? To Switzerland, to have a baby. Oh. I knew he'd get you in trouble. Oh, now, it wasn't his fault, really, Fergie. Well, what's he going to do about it? He doesn't know it. You didn't tell him? Well, what would be the good? It would only worry him. He'd have to go anyway. Aren't you going to tell him? Well, not yet. I may write him from, from Switzerland. You're a fool. Here, Signora. On track three. Oh, thank you. But what's the hurry? Why tonight? I couldn't go back to that hospital. I couldn't stand it, not with him gone. But you'll be all alone in Switzerland. Now, don't worry, Fergie. I'll be all right. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Only of going back to that hospital. Don't scold me, Fergie. Brissago, binario numero tre. I'll carry it. Brissago, numero nove. Brissago, binario numero tre. Presa, via la vedo, binario numero quattro. Varese, binario. told you I was a crazy girl. I couldn't bear Milan without you away. So I've chucked the war and come to live in this little Swiss town as near as possible to the Italian border and you. And darling, it's an adorable place. I'm going to be very happy here. I've taken a sweet... Sweet in the best hotel and am fairly wallowing in luxury. The bed is ampere and fit for an empress. There's a maroon velvet carpet, ankle deep, and a bathroom. Oh, darling, the bathroom. It's of black marble with silver fittings. I've just dined in state at my sitting room window, from which there is a divine view of the lake shimmering in moonlight. I'm an awful liar, darling. It's not really a nice place at all. It's mean, cheap, and horrible. But it doesn't matter where I live, because I don't really live at all when I'm not with you. Oh, darling. What I really want to tell you is that, that I shall lie awake in the dark and cry because you're not here. I'm lonely and frightened, and I love you. Hurry, baby. Why? Time to go. Go where? But I told you before, to the Villa Rossa. New girls, everybody's going. Not me. But you must. It will be a fine party. And besides, I said you would go. I can. I've got to write some letters. Oh, to that little... Every day more letters. You might as well be married. That's my business. Oh, baby. How you have come back to me. Serious like a shopkeeper with a liver. 
Where is my war brother who used to get drunk with me and go to the Villa Rossa every night? Leave me alone, will you? Why? Isn't she just a girl? Keep her out of this. Sacred subject. Believe me, baby, sacred subjects are not good for soldiers. <laughs> Why don't you be like me? All fire and smoke and nothing inside. <laughs> Come on, baby. You're drunk. Stop it. Of course I am drunk. You come with me and you will be drunk too. Come on, baby. Oh, I am sorry. Now you must come. There is no more ink. <laughs> get your hands off of me and get out. <laughs> Poor baby. Tomorrow I will get you drunk and I will take out your liver and I will put you in a good Italian liver and make a man of you again. <laughs> Ciao, baby. You're going out, Signor Capitano? Yes, why? The mail just came, Signor Capitano. You censor it. Signor Capitano, the officer's mail too? <laughs> anyway. Aren't you going to open them, Senor Capitano? No. I'm in a hurry. Send this one back. Yes, Senor Capitano. I do not like to see him lose his head over a woman. Yes, Senor Capitano. Today, my letters came back, every one I'd ever written her. Came back? Just marked return to sender, person unknown. Well, that's very strange. 32 letters. She never got one. Well, that's why she never wrote you. No. She'd have written me anyway. Something happened to her. Well, have you tried I to... I can't get any information at all. I've got to go and find her, myself. Well, can you? I'm going to Milan. I'll find her. But aren't all leaves of absence forbidden since that battle in the north began? I'm going anyway. Well, that's desertion. I don't care. I'm going. You'll be caught. Oh, you mustn't do this, Frederico. Yes, I must. That's what I wanted to tell you, Padre. What does this war mean to me anymore? What does anything mean but finding her? But, Frederico, consider the... I can depend on you, Padre. Say goodbye to Rinaldi and the others for me. When are you leaving? Now, while they're at dinner. And by morning, when they miss me, I'll be halfway to Milan. If they ask me what will I say, I... Anything you like. Goodbye, Padre. Goodbye, Federico. May the Lord bless and preserve you.
What are you carabinieri doing in the yard? Looking for stragglers. What do you do with them? Send them back to fight the invaders. Every foot of Italian soil must be regained. Suppose they don't want to go back. Then we shoot them. Where's Catherine? I know. You've run away. You're a deserter. Where is she? I've got to see her. You can't. She's gone. Gone? Where? And you'd better get out. Has she been transferred? If you don't get out of here, I'll scream and bring the whole hospital down on you. Why'd she go? Where? Tell me. No. Tell me where she is. Go ahead. Choke me, but I won't tell you. You've done her enough harm. What do you mean? I said you'd get her into trouble. I hate you. Hate you, understand? I won't tell you anything. I hope they catch you. I hope they shoot you. Pay you back for what you've done to her. Making her have a baby. Baby? Oh, I warned you, but you didn't care. Not about her. Now she's had to go away. Where? Where? Oh, for pity's sake, tell me, Fergie. No! 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 And uh, get me some clothes, a full outfit. I can't go around in this uniform. As long as I don't get mixed up in it myself. You won't. I just want you to get some things and put an advertisement in the newspaper for me. I really oughtn't to, if I had any sense. I know I shall have awful gas pains in the morning as a result of this. Just say, Catherine, where are you? I am free at last. Meet me, Palace Hotel, Streza. Signed, Frederick. Major made an obituary speech in your memory, and the priest, <laughs> he wanted to say mass for your soul. But what? Uh, vermouth, uh, one for you, uh, two vermouth. You see, we all thought you were dead. It never occurred to us that you might have been shell-shocked, wandered away, lost your memory. How did you find me? I saw your advertisement in the paper. <laughs> but as soon as we knew, we arranged everything. Rinaldi will work on you one of his miraculous cures. You will go back a hero. I'm not going back. They will decorate you for bravery. They will even promote you. No. I'm through the war. Get that straight. But you cannot do that. You cannot just stop and say I'm through with the war. They will not let you do that. Two vermouths. Hmm. Uh, can I speak to you a moment, sir? It's all right, Harry. He's my friend. But I... Uh... He keeps telling me that it's dangerous for me to stay here any longer. But the policeman was in tonight. He spoke of notifying the carabinieri. When will they come? Well, tonight, tomorrow, who knows, but soon. My boat is still ready, sir. Thank you, Harry. If they arrest you, no one can save you. I know that. They will shoot you. Look, get this through your head. I'm not going back. I've got to wait here and, until I can find Catherine. And how do you expect to do that? I've got some people looking for her. Hmm. That is more important than... She's uh, going to have a baby. My baby. So. And that means everything to you. Yes, it would. It means that I've got to find her and get her out of Italy. Perhaps she is no longer in Italy. What makes you say that? She is in Switzerland. Where? Brissago. Brissago? Harry!
Will you do one for me, too? Yes, madam. Step around here. No. Just the head, please. Isn't there any mail for me yet? Ah, madam. Yes, yes, today oh. there are letters. Many letters. Many? Oh! Twenty. Twenty? Oh, that was worth waiting for. What? Up the lake and across about 35 kilometers. I'll make it at the frontier. There will be sentries. I know, and you will have to watch out for the patrol boats. I will. If it blows too hard, you will. I won't drown. Have you enough money? Here, won't you need it? There must be a Villa Rosa at Pordenone. Always the same girls until they become like old friends, like war comrades. Take it, baby, please, please. You're a good egg, Renin. No, I am not a good egg. I am a fool. But if I had understood how you felt about her... Good luck, baby. Ciao, baby. Get a new cylinder, Doctor? That is a new cylinder. Oh, I wanted so to have this baby and not make any trouble. And now I'm all done. All gone to pieces. Mm. There's no use. I'll have to operate. That was lovely. Frederick. Darling. You mustn't worry, darling. I'm not going to die now. I got... Of course, you're not going to die. You mustn't think about it. Is she going to be all right? Are you the husband? Yes. She kept calling for you all night. It would have been better if you'd been here. I'm sorry. Is she in danger? Oh, she's very weak. You don't suppose I could see her now? Later, later. It won't be long.
She can't die. Shh. Did you call? No, I didn't say anything. Not yet. Is she all right? I hope so. The baby. The boy, but he was dead before she ever came in here. Oh, but she'll be all right. That's not in my hands any longer. Better go across the street and get yourself some breakfast. Full of kiss if you need it. It will be some time before she can see you. There's nothing there, dog. You've had children. What was it like? I beg your pardon. What did you say? Nothing. Some coffee, please. And a brioche. It's in the papers. Italy has won. Well, thank God it's over. This is the beginning of the end. But it'll be a long time before they can rebuild what's been destroyed. In the early morning hours of November 4th, the Austro-Hungarian Supreme Command accepted by radiogram the armistice conditions laid down by General Badoglio. Don't let her die. Oh, God, please don't let her die. I'd do anything for you if you don't let her die. He took the baby. That was all right. But don't let her die. Please. Please. Dear God. Don't let her die. You won't tell him. Thank you. Doctor. Have I long? Don't you see? I have to know. Not long. like me to be pale.
You can go in now. I found where you were. Poor darling. Let me look at you. Oh. You're wet and tired. Sit down, darling. Here. You're going to be all right, Kat. Stop loving me. You know, I couldn't stop. I like to hear you say it, though. I'll never stop loving you. Never? Not even if I died? Never. You'd never do our things with any other girl or say the same things, would you? Never. I want you to have other girls for you. I don't want them. That's right, Dad. Try to... Try to sleep, Cap. When I get well... We'll... We'll take a little house in the mountains. We always planned the house of our own, remember? I'll get you a fine house. And we'll live in it until the war's over. And then you'll go back to America and be a splendid architect. We'll be married all over again. In a church. In a church. Oh, darling. I'm going to die. Don't let me die. Take me in your arms. Hold me tight. Don't let me go. Cut. It's dark out there and lonely. I don't want to leave you anymore. I've been alone so much. You, you can't die. You're too brave to die. You're a fine girl. A brave girl. Yes. I am a brave girl. Whatever happens, you'll not be afraid. I'll not be afraid. We've never been apart, really. Not since we met. Not since we met. And never can be. Never parted. In life and in death. Say it, Cap. In life and in death, we'll never be parted. You do believe that, don't you, Kat? I believe it. And I'm not afraid. Peace. Peace. 